welcome to the MBS show, episode number 282. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I'll be flying solo for this week's episode, and well, let's get into it. With the new release of the iOS 11, um, a few features have come out, and one of those few features is augmented reality. Woo! Fancy. So, the My Little Pony mobile game from Gameloft, if I'm not mistaken, has released an update where you can produce ponies in the augmented reality. Woohoo! Very cool. Personally, for me, I have not gotten an iPhone that can support iOS 11, so I have not tried it myself. But from what I understand, it's similar to the Pokemons. Remember Pokemon Go, where you look at the phone and you capture Pokemon using a Pokeball? It's something similar to that, but I got no idea what this does in terms of the game. Probably it just looks nice and fancy. But if augmented reality is not your thing, maybe karaoke. Yay! So we all know there's my little karaoke that's been out there, there's a downloaded app, you can install it on your PC, which is cool, but sometimes people don't have the time to install or don't have the space to install on their hard disk. So there's a new website out there called Ponytone. What this website does is you and your friend can gather around and sing pony songs from the show and even uh, fan created contents. I've played around with it and it looks really cool. All you need to do is just go to the website ponytones.online and you'll just need to create a party and play the game. It's easy as that and no registration required, just play and have fun. And I think there's a invite code for your friends if you want to share a room and play the game together. And it's like My Little Karaoke. It's really fun. It's really awesome. You guys should just play it if you are into the singing games. Maybe you're not into singing. How about tabletop gaming? And like we mentioned before, uh, Tales of Equestria is one of those games available for you. And talking about Tales of Equestria, they just released their new expansion called Festival of Lights. So from what I understand, reading from the description, this the story is set way in an ancient city buried beneath the Badlands in Southern Equestria. So what players can expect in this new update? Well, friends and NPCs, um, content po- uh, content for ponies level 2 to 5, new creatures, new friends, and a lot of adventures. So if you are enjoying the base game, I would highly recommend getting this expansion because, well, pony RPG expansion is always fun. And if you do play the tabletop RPG a lot, how about going to the Hascon or the Hasbro Toy Shop? That's HasbroToyShop.com. And over there, you can get the My Little Pony Dungeons and Dragons dice, an exclusive for Hascon 2017. Just for 20 bucks, you'll get the whole dice set in a metal tin and, well, play your Dungeons and Dragons. You got your standard D20 to D5 to D6s and so on. Like, it's your standard D&D dice. So I think you guys should try and get it if you're really into the D&Ds. And let me double check first because when I took a look-see at some other products that they had, they were all sold out. And the D&D dice are still available. So guys, if you are really interested, go to HasbroToyShop.com and, well, go get it before they're all sold out. Anyway, let's move on to the next news, and the next news would be, well, uh, if you ever wondered how Pony sounded in Russian, um, it's available online, uh, because the recent episode that just passed this week, a health of information appeared early, and it was in Russian. It had subtitles a few days after, but... When you're hearing this, the episode just came out and is available on iTunes to purchase. So I would suggest you go purchasing the official release and go hunt down this one just to hear how Russian Pony sounds. It's really interesting. And talking about 
well, quote-unquote, future episodes, it seems that Poland might be airing episode 24, 5, and 26 early. How early would this be? Well, it seems that episode 24 will be airing on October 19, and episode 25 and 6 will be airing on October 20th, the next day. So, if this does go through fruition, the episode or the season finale would be way, way early than what's predicted. So, yeah, whew, um, another leak episode or another early jump to the end. Wow, is this a good thing or bad thing? Honestly, I got no idea. Um, early ponies are always fun, but that means we'll get to the end faster. This reminds me of what happened in season 6 when the episode got released super super early. But hey, um, this means that the season's about to end and we'll get that break for a bit that we really need. And also at the same time too, we got the movie and the comics to hold us over. And also a bit of Equestria Girls. So that's always good. But anywho, that's the news for this week. And let's head into what have we been doing with our week. Personally for me, I've seen and bought a few things. Um, what I've seen is Kingsman The Golden Circle. That's the sequel to the 2015 Kingsman movie. It was fun. It was great. Um, if you've seen the first Kingsman, I would highly recommend watching the second one. It's a blast. You won't be disappointed. My full thoughts and review for that movie will be at the end of the year when we do the whole movie of 2017 review, uh, like we always done. And with that, we'll have Silver Quill and Sapphire Heart Song putting their heads into the ring too. But that's besides the point. And the thing that I've bought and played is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I haven't put in a lot of time into it yet, but I'm enjoying myself. Like, the game is totally different from the third version of Marvel vs. Capcom. It's hard for me to describe the game fully because I haven't really put in time into the game to give a full assessment. But from my views of playing most of the Marvel Capcom games, this is similar to Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but it has its own things where it's trying to do a few new stuff. And the character roster here are interesting. If you like Mega Man X, the series, well, you get to play as X and Zero, and that's cool. And on the Marvel side, you'll get Gamora and Thanos, and a few other characters like Rocket Raccoon, and, well, Ghost Rider, and so on. I mean, I haven't really played the game fully yet, and, well, I'm going to do a full review. I'm just going to say that I enjoy the game, but I still need to put more time into it to give my full thoughts. Probably I'll give my full thoughts next week when we record this again. But for now, I do enjoy the game. So anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. And you can reach me personally at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us off. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, we have the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. I highly suggest you guys subscribing to that because over there you'll get Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and myself reviewing the Milo Pony episodes, comics, movies, and other random things that we decide to do. For example, we recently did a review of Kung Pao Enter the Fist, and that was pretty fun. And um, one time we talked about Destiny, the first one, and Overwatch a bit. So 
Do subscribe to that show to catch some random insanities from us. It's really, really fun. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get early access to the discussion and review podcast, deleted content, and exclusive. Also, you'll get a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat. Nimdra Katoria, Starstream, and also Master of Light. Thank you, you all, for the awesome, awesome support. You've been great to me. And, well, I have been on Nintendo, and I'll catch you guys next week. See ya!